Just hit the east side of the LBC on a mission trying to find the double G. Got some tyrants in the place where they don't know the law. Uh, KULT had to regulate. I wish I had more. Sorry. Anyway, this is a new auditor, 6,000 subscribers. Please subscribe to him. He's KULT News. And he has a new approach that I absolutely love because you'll see why. He hits them with a surprise thing that no other, no other auditor has done that I've seen anyway. And I absolutely love it. So he's in one of these, uh, what do you call it? He calls it APP, but it's like um, it's like the building I went to in Tampa with uh, Regan Benson. Um we're the probation office. This is like a probation office from what I'm understanding. So he's walking around the hallways in the public lobby and the public hallways here. There's no signs, of course, that say restricted access. And he's looking at public information here. And some douchebag walks up to him trying to find out who he is, even though it's none of his business who he is. Government employees and cops, they think they're above you, even though they're the servants and you're the master. They don't understand that there's freedom to do things in this country even if they don't like it the problem is for decades and decades and decades they've been able to be in here in their little uh roach motels here their little hideouts their little safe space where they get to do all the bad things to the citizens and not be seen now everyone has a camera in their pocket and they don't like it especially when someone decides to exercise their right to free press again everybody in this country's press you don't have to be CNN or Fox News or any of them prostitutes, you yourself are free press. And if more people acted as the free press, which is what I call the fourth branch of government, then we can get things under control. The more exposure, uh, the more uh, popular we make, the more famous we make these people, the more freedom we're going to have. I'm going to be pausing and interjecting my thoughts here. If you don't like it, go watch the original. I will link it in the description. Meanwhile, subscribe to KULT News. Watch this guy's approach. I absolutely love it. It's pretty simple. Oh, here we go. If you need some information here, you got all sorts of stuff. Everything from drug counseling. I'm sorry? Can I help you? I, I'm sorry, uh, and who are you? Can I help you in government speak means who the F are you and why are you in our safe space? Who are you? That's why I saw you walk back here. Are you here to see an officer? I am not here to see an officer. Okay, so can I help you then? Uh, again, I'm sorry, who are you? I'm an officer here. Okay. So can I help can I, you? Can I get your name? Yeah, I want to know who you are if you're not supposed to be back here. Sir? This is a secure area. I'm a private citizen. You're a public official. Public means you identify, not me. Sir, so you're a public servant. And this is not a secure area. This is a public hallway. So are you refusing to identify through, yourself, sir? But you're going through people's mailboxes. Uh, right away, government tactic 101, lie immediately. This is not people's mailboxes. This is a mailbox? Uh, yeah, sir, you want to re-review what this is, sir? Let me go, let me go get the I'm sorry, what's your... Oh, I got caught in my lie, so let me call some guys with guns. What's your name and badge I'm number? You don't want to give your name and badge number? I'm giving you your name. Sir, I'm not a public... You won't give me your name. What is it you don't understand? Master, servant servant call the deputies call the deputies as a man of the call guys with guns there's a guy in here with a camera get some guys with guns here now camera quick quick unbelievable you refuse to identify yourself sir sir i'm call guys with guns because this guy's standing on his fourth amendment right to privacy Looking at the public literature, and you refuse to identify yourself. I asked you who you were. I asked you who you were, the public servant. I don't work for you, Chief. You work for. The, the, when they can't legitimize their reasoning, they walk away and call guys with guns to protect them in their safe space. For me. Unbelievable. This guy's entitled. Unbelievable. Now, how did he get this camera angle of him walking back into that mailbox area? Uh, 
So, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, we've got some literature here for Joe Q Public. Let's see what we got here. Housing homeless assistance. We're missing that. Got some stuff for drug counseling. Child support admin tools. Let's see. Voter info. I'm not sure what's going on. We just heard the shouting in our offices. Gentlemen here? Yes. Now we got uh, the Hamburglar here who's bringing the police in because he's recording in public under his First Amendment right and he won't rel relinquish his right to privacy under the Fourth Amendment. Hi there. Hi. You're not supposed to be on this floor? I'm not supposed to be on this floor? No. Dude, are all cops this dumb? Seriously, you just walk in and say you're not supposed to be on this floor? Based on what? That's what I was just told. Uh, I was just told that, so it must be true. Because government employees don't lie, and they're all very intelligent people. This is... Is this not a public building? Why do they have information for the public here? I asked you your name, sir. You gave me a hard time by asking me my name. I asked you what you were doing back here, and you wouldn't identify yourself. I don't know Sir, you didn't identify yourself. Okay, well, we've already determined that you're not supposed to be on this floor, so I'll show you. We've already determined because the people that are, are bought her told us that. That's not determination. That's ridiculousness. I have every right to be on this floor and get public literature. Don't tell me I don't have a right to be on this floor. Um, this public literature, right? You're told yes. by the wrong person the wrong information, ma'am. No, I but you're yes. Recording him as an individual, he doesn't want to be. Recorded. He's a public servant. He doesn't want to be recorded. This camera is all over the place. You guys are recording me. Don't be you still haven't given your name or why you're Sir, here. you haven't given me your name. You don't have a right to know our name, dummy. Go back into your your hole you cra crawled out of and get back to work. Name and why you're hassling me. But I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be here getting literature for my friends. I'm committing the crime of public... Here comes another dummy, just comes and waves him over like an animal. Photography, sir. Is public photography a crime? I'm taking some pictures and video for a person I'm getting literature for. I have every right to be on this floor getting this. Why didn't you just answer that question when I asked you? Sir? Why didn't you answer the question, public servant? Because it's none of your business. Why can't you answer your I'm name? I'm sorry, I work here. I want to know if some sir, strangers walking around I pay here. What's your... Who cares that you work here? That doesn't entitle you to, to violate my privacy. Salary. I pay my taxes. What is your name, sir? What is your name, ma'am? Come, come on, you're making a fool out of yourself. Get out of here. I'm bringing a hamburger with you. Can I get your badge number and the name? Um, I have. Listen, ma'am, you just showed up here and again another moron public servant who's not willing to identify themselves. Told me I can't. Nothing scares them more than a camera. Can't be yes. here. I asked you for your name and badge. Is, is nobody giving names and badge numbers these days? I'm here to get public literature. This, is not for public, this, this isn't for public? The public literature is not for the public, says Hamburglar. No, this is for probationers who have been sentenced by our court. Unless you're on probation or here for comment, please, you can go ahead and leave off the floor because we have people of business. To so you're saying it is a crime for me to be on this floor? One, two, three, four. Ma'am, again, you're the one that asked me to leave the floor. Can I have your name and badge number? Okay, I'll be glad to give you that as, as we leave. You're not okay. supposed to oh, that's not your policy. Supposed to be back here. I, am, Another lie. Am I, am I, do I have to leave under under threat of arrest from this no. floor? Oh, no. All right, then. Oh, no? Then that means I don't have to leave. Bye-bye. Then leave me alone. No. We're leave me alone. I'm getting literature. Don't put your hands on me. Here comes the intimidation. Here comes the intimidation. I would have took a giant step back and started saying, stop approaching me. Just come this I'm way. getting literature. Please just do what our tyrannical directives are. Please just do what you don't have to do. Please just do what you don't have to do. For my friend. Yeah. What's your name, sir? My name is Deputy Bellamy, batch 1300. Thank you. We're asking you very nicely to leave. I'm at and I'm asking you 
to kick rocks. Ebor Rob, my dog. Asking well, you very nicely, let me get some literature for my friend. Can he grab some literature and then we can... Can he grab some literature? Like, he needs permission from you morons. Yeah. Absolutely, I can get some literature. Okay. Oh, now he's disturbing the floor. He wasn't bothering anybody until you parasites came out and started bothering him. I'm disturbing the floor. How about if I lower my voice and ask you guys to leave have, me alone? Listen, we have people reporting. We have people who are dealing with this. We're, we're here to work. I'm, I'm here to get him. Nobody stopped you from working. You sound stupid. Information. Your people are bothering me. I'm not. You're not on probation. Public reporter. photography is not a crime. Listen, I get it, but you do. No, you listen. You don't get it. Go back in your hole. You're telling me this is not a publicly accessible no, floor not. here. Really? So the public information here is not for the public. That is not for the public to begin with. Okay. Interesting. If it was, it'd be out in front where yes, the public. Yes, and is. that is all yes. stuff. So, so, for. so is this theft? If I'm taking things from here, if it's not for the public, am I stealing from the government? Listen. This is ridiculous. Leave me alone. You're, Seriously. You're not supposed to be back here. Oh, can I be out in the front lobby? No, because we have people that are waiting to be seen, and they probably do not want their case. Also, he can't be in the public lobby or the public hallway or the public building because Hamburglar and uh, Homeboy, unidentified Homeboy, don't don't like it. Is what they're getting at. He's not under threat of arrest. He's not stealing. Uh, stupid cop who just made up stuff off the top of her head won't identify. They're in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. This is court. Did she just say this is a courthouse? They're not in public. This is a public building. I have every right to be here. The sooner you people leave me alone, let me do my job. The sooner I'm out of here. You're not doing your job, which is sustaining and defending my I, constitutional I can stand rights. Here all day if I want. Knock yourself out. You can stand there all day, but you're still not doing your job and upholding his rights, like he just said. Way to ignore that part of it. Just listen, ma'am. You still want to give your badge number, Ms. Turner? Also, you finally figured out my name. Yeah, yeah. I... One day you'll figure out the law and your job title and your job description is to preserve and protect and defend the Constitution. Maybe one day you'll figure that out, Turner. I haven't figured out your badge number, though. Okay, I'll give it to you as we leave. Uh, oh, bye. Ah, oh, got you, got you. Well, you can go ahead and leave. I'm per I'm perusing the paperwork here first. Go ahead. Unbelievable. You people need to get a life for crying out loud. Getting some information for a friend. I'm hassled by the cops. You can't be here. The hell I can't. The public building. You people need to get some priorities straight, man. Prioritize your outrage. Yeah, real funny, isn't it? It's a hoot. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Wow. The camera. There you go. Hi, we're stupid. Jeez, unbelievable. Yeah, wow. I agree wholeheartedly. Wow. Jeez. You're out of the homeless assistance things. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe some like a a, a uh, sign to say you know. Not public property, authorized personnel only, something to that effect. That would be terrific. Yeah, your gentleman was harassing me, telling me I had to leave. So, yeah. At the end of the day, we have people back there, and all we can hear is you yelling. Oh, okay. Am I yelling? Uh, all right, all right. Yelling with my office door shut, that's why I came back. All right. Uh, and who started the whole thing? Dummy? Well, maybe if people stop trying to violate my rights, I won't have to yell at them. How about that? All right, can you grab what you need so we can get back to uh, Now you've decided I have what I need? No. That's not how it works. Go back to work, shut your mouth, get back to work. We're not paying you to be this ignorant, Hamburglar. Business, because we do have stuff to do up here. We have people waiting to I'll tell you what, I'll be real quiet. No, you need to leave. No, you need to leave. No, no. Under threat of arrest, do I need to leave? I'm asking somebody to leave. I'm asking you to leave me alone. I work here. All right. Now, you work here and still leave me alone. Okay, one second, one second. Hang on. And here's my favorite part right here. No other auditor is doing this as far as I know. This is wonderful. I'm sorry. What's your name, ma'am? My name's actually Mike Norton with KULT News. You want to tell me why you're trying to violate my rights? You want to tell me what, under threat of arrest? I did not say anything about Then you need to leave me alone. You need to leave me alone. Why are you trying to violate my rights? I have every right to be in this building on this. Oh, all of a 
sudden, embarrassing smile. Time for everyone to run like cockroaches. Floor. Look at this. One Look at them all turn and run. This is wonderful. More auditors need to get one of these professional-looking microphones and put a little thing on it that makes it look legit. All of a sudden, they believe he's legitimate news being some type of undercover investigative reporter because he pulled out a microphone. Seems like optics are everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's no sign this is officer section, though. There's no sign this is officer section, is there? Okay, so I need to, she says I need to be up here. There's another. Oh, first she said he couldn't even be up there. Now the microphone's off, now he can be up there. Okay, I need to be up here because that's the officer's section. Got it, got it. Sir. My name's Mike Norton with KULT News. Would you like to tell me why you're violating my Run! Run! My rights? At least why Run! You tried. You weren't successful. You APMP guys, you really like to control people, don't you? They sure do. Sucks when you have somebody you can't control, doesn't it? Huh? You don't want to, you don't want to give your, uh, Get back in your safe space, Tyrant. Bad jump in there, sir? Yeah. Hilarious. Oh, notice that door had a sign that said authorized personnel only. See how that works? It's scumbags. Unbelievable. Go on. I will dismiss you without further argument. Go on. Beat it. Unbelievable. You people are something else. You want to discuss why you're trying to violate my, my civil rights, ma'am? Ms. Turner? You said you, you would, once I came out here, give me your badge number. What's your badge number? As we're leaving. Oh, okay. Well, stick around then. I'll definitely get that from you. Unbelievable. In fact, you know what? I think I'm gonna camp out here for a while. Yeah. Let's just let's just camp out. Look, so you got almost half a million dollars worth of salary to come and harass a cameraman. And people will still say police are the good guys. They're not overfunded. Meanwhile, they won't run into a school to save kids that are being shot, but they'll come 10, 20 deep for cameramen inside of probation office. Let's see if we can wait longer. Hey, Turner, wait, so you're gonna leave without giving me your badge number? Turner, is it against policy for you to Here you go. Come on. give me your badge number, ma'am? Look, he's trying to lure him into the elevator. Go ahead, beat it. I will dismiss you without further argument. You're dismissed. <laughs> you got me. He did get you, you're dumb. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm one bunch of clowns. Now, how do you get that camera angle right there? You people are something else. You guys have to deal with this shit once a month? Is it once a month? Unbelievable. These people are on a real power trip, aren't they? No, this lady's enjoying the show. Unbelievable. I like that lady's braids in her, her little beanie. She's cute. So, you gonna put a sign up here that says this is for officers only for future reference? You gonna stick a sign there? Officers only? Ma'am, so you don't wanna identify yourself? You're a public servant, right? <laughs> the microphone has them so scared. No, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, you guys get the gist of this. Go to KULT News. Link will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I just made my seventh attempt to file a police report because now they told me to call back the captain and I'm trying to get uh, J-Town Press on for an interview. She's going around all the DMVs, proving them all wrong. And now one of them has attempted to trust, well, they tried to go hands-on on a few of them and I should cover her videos since it's relevant to what I'm going through. But I would love to have you on J-Town Press for an interview. I got the stream yard going. We could see your beautiful face and we could do this thing. In the meantime, Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. Much love, peace, and tranquility. See you later.